I started working at the pantry at the beginning of 2021 when I retired. I realized that we needed to do something to show that we are part of the community and we were very welcoming. In the early days, we um, gave out bags of food that had been prepackaged. It has now evolved into the donations that we receive from our community supporters. So now there's much more variety. A typical bag of food these days is uh, rice, beans, tuna fish. Every week I pick up two donations, Monday and Tuesday, of fresh fruits and vegetables, sometimes frozen items, and whatever other goodies have been donated by the community. We couldn't even begin to do this unless the members of our parish community made the donations that they currently make, and we're extremely grateful. We also get an incredible bounty every week from Paralandra, including organic uh, foods, fruits and vegetables, bread. Um, Amy's Bread also donates bread. Uh, Trader Joe's has donated uh, some food in the past, and then uh, most recently, Sahadi's. I'd also like to mention Repair the World. It was through them that we met a couple of lovely young ladies who are Girl Scouts. We ordered cookies and they delivered them to our pantry and they helped distribute the cookies. And we're very, very appreciative of those efforts. Many volunteers have just been people who were walking on uh, Clinton Street, saw what we were doing, asked if they could help, and they've been coming back every single Tuesday. There are students uh, from St. Anne's School, from St. Francis College, of course our parishioners that help out, uh, and then local moms, uh, and then people in the neighborhood who just walk by and ask how can we help. It's a time that people need things and the church is providing, is providing help for the community and this gives me something to do and feel like I'm part of helping people. I go to the food pantry during my free periods. I really enjoy being able to talk to the community that comes, especially the Chinese grandmas that I'm able to talk to in Cantonese. People just walk by and then they can sign in and pick up different um, foods from boxes. It's just all like um, something that we can do um, in our spare time to help people. It's unfortunate there's such a need, but it's great that the church is here to to fulfill that need and I get to be part of it. The profile of our guests include a large Asian population that live in the neighborhood. We have many nannies, we have construction workers, food cart workers, families just trying to get by. Uh, surprisingly, a very small percentage of unhoused, but we do keep special supplies on hand for those. Uh, we've had students and um, a good population of elderly in general that, that have needs. If not for Episcopal Ministries of Long Island, we would have concluded the food pantry long ago. They help us fund our monthly expenses and we're able to purchase items that are needed because of their generosity. We're really small, but I think people see that even a small action helps a lot. Mm -hmm.